you have work on pseudo random functions. What are those? <laughs> what uh, what's the difference in those and the generators, pseudo random, random number generators? Okay, let's start. Uh, How do they work? Let's uh, let's uh, go back to pseudo random number generation. Yes. First of all, people think that a pseudo random number generation generates a random number. Not true, because I don't believe that uh, from nothing you can get you can <laughs> you can get uh, something. So nothing from nothing. But uh, <laughs> randomness, you cannot create out of nothing. But what you can do is that you can be expanded. So in other words, if you give me somehow 300 random bits, truly random bits, then I can give you 300,000, 300 million, 300 trillions, 300 quadrillions, as many as you want, random bits. So that even though I tell you the recipe, by which I produce these bits, mm -hmm. but I don't tell you the initial 300 random numbers, I keep them secret, and you see all the bits I produced so far, if I, if you were to bet, given all the bits produced so far, what is the next bit in my sequence? Better than 50-50. Of course, 50-50, anybody can guess, right? Mm -hmm. But to be inferring something, you have to be a bit better. Then the effort to to do this extra bit is so enormous that is de facto random. So that is a pseudo random generator are these expanders of secret randomness, which goes extremely fast. Okay, this said, what is Expanders of secret randomness, beautifully put. Okay, yes. so every time, every time somebody who, if you're a programmer is using a function that's not called pseudo random. It's called random usually, you know, these programming languages and it's generating different. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's essentially expanding the secret randomness. Well, they should. In, in the past, actually, in most of the library, they used uh, something pre -crypt modern cryptography, unfortunately. They would be better served <laughs> to take a 300 uh, uh, real seed random number. And uh, and then expand them properly as yeah. we know now, uh, but that has been a, a very um, uh, old uh, idea. In fact, one of the um, best philosophers have debated uh, the, uh, whether the world was deterministic or probabilistic. Yes, very big questions, right? Does God it, play dice? Exactly. Einstein says it does. He doesn't. Yeah. But in fact, now. We have a language that even uh, at the Albert uh, time was not around, but it was this complexity theory, modern complexity-based cryptography. And now we know that if the universe has 300 random bits, whether where is random or probabilistic or uh, deterministic, it doesn't matter because you can expand this initial seed of randomness forever in which all the experiments you could do, all the inferences you could do, all the things you could do, they are, you will not be able to distinguish them from truly random. So if you are not able to distinguish truly random from this super duper pseudo randomness, are they really different things? <laughs> so I must say, so I to become really philosophical. So, yeah. to, so for things to be different, but I don't have in my lifetime, in my lifetime of the universe, any method to set them aside, well, I should be intellectually honest, say, well, Pseudo random in the special function is as good as random. Do you think true randomness is possible? And what does that mean? So, the, I, I practically speaking, exactly as you said, if you're being honest, the, 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 the pseudo randomness approaches true randomness pretty quickly. But is it, is it uh, maybe this is a philosophical question, is there such a thing as true randomness? Well, the answer is actually maybe, but if there ex exist, most probably it's expensive to get. <laughs> and uh, and uh, and in any case, if I give you one uh, of mine, um, random you string, you'll never tell. tell them apart. Yeah, by yeah. no any other shape, no matter how much you work on it. So in some sense, uh, if it exists or not, it really is a quote philosophical sense in the a um, colloquial way to say that uh, we cannot uh, somehow pin it down.